This is so crazy. <sighs> I haven't done a video in so long and the partner is currently in, there's another human being in the building, which means that they can hear the things that I'm saying. And I feel very, very self-conscious about that. Oh, well, it's me, you know, when again, it is currently March 26th. It's a Thursday and we are in the midst of the Corona virus. So people are trying to self quarantine, trying to stay at home. Uh, and although it doesn't feel that different to me, my schedule hasn't really changed. I know that it has changed for a lot of people. Um, and it's kind of effect like affected me as well. Not in the sense of I was going to a physical workplace and now I'm not going to a physical workplace. Also, since the nails have made their debut in this video, I guess I'll just show the things. So I had these two, these fake long nails, which I totally love. Um, I'm loving, I don't love it as much as I did before, but on this nail, I glued it, I think to my nail bed and then it bruised. I remember the first uh, day that I put it on, I was like, ow, this kind of hurts. But I'm gonna let this nail, this finger take a break and then maybe paint this nail. It's like red from the talkie powder that I've been eating. But I've waited because it still has some glitter nail polish on here. And then for the other nails, I've um, painted with this gel nail, nail, gel nail polish that I got. I've washed my hands thinking that I'm going to go through this whole get ready routine-ish. Which includes kind of like doing my hair. I got a haircut uh, a while back. And... I feel good about it. I mean, it kind of looks wonky sometimes when I don't do it, but it looked wonky before I got the haircut and now it just looks better. I think this haircut is very me, actually. Uh, it's also gonna be my first time using this sponge thing that I got when I bought a lot of stuff from Ulta. Um, and I bought a lot of stuff from Ulta because I got this Ulta gift card when I went to the Ellen show with my roommate, April. Shout out to April for um, signing signing everybody up. And I got to go to the Ellen show and get a gift card. Is this lighting good enough? Oh. This is probably the best that we're gonna do. I, I guess this is gonna be kind of somewhat of a, an experiment. I've been watching people do a lot of makeup videos. I'm sure like the rest of the people who watch YouTube. And I've watched it so much that I feel like I could do it, but that's probably not the case. First step is first. I'm gonna probably, I'm gonna put on this Cha Cha Balm as like a moisturizer for the lips. It smells like roses or I think what they think roses smell like. Okay, we're gonna take this nice and slow. First is to prime the face. Primer, actually it's right here. I think this goes on first. Feels very smooth. I always do that and I like use the camera as a mirror, which I don't think is a good idea. I mean, at least I know which part of the face I'm touching. How much is too much? I guess it doesn't matter because I've had this makeup for over a year now. We have a foundation and pore minimizing makeup. Pat and blend on pore problem areas or all over the face. This has SPF in it. It's been kind of hard trying to adjust to a life of long nails. I still need to learn how to wipe my butt without, you know, getting the nails ripping through the uh, toilet paper. This. Oh man, that's a lot. Oh my god. Whoa. All of the product is gone. This is where this would come in. This, I'm gonna pour it onto here. Make my pores look smaller. Now I'm gonna use this brush and do something that I've seen other people on 
YouTube do. I also should have cleaned this brush. Oh, this is maybe too bright. Wow, very, very. Damn, I'm really, like, really going in. I'm trying to use all of this stuff. So I'm gonna take this side of the sponge and try to wipe stuff off my face. I look really, really pale. Oh yes, the nose. I also have this. Ugh. I'm gonna try and use this on my nose, but I don't know. It's a. It seems like it's a darker. Oh, I didn't clean that brush. Uh oh. Shaden's in number two. It's like totally different color. It's like more pink. I think it matches my skin color too much. It's like not bright. What's up? I don't know if it's dirty or not. This is how much product I have left. When, how am I gonna use all of that? I'm just gonna wipe this. Here, here, so bright. Am I supposed to do my eyebrows? This is also a brush that I got for free. My nose looks like a flashlight. Okay, maybe I'll do my brows now. Okay, let's see what I have here. Ready, set, brow. So I think I realized that the brows that I've been trying to create with this product is actually from like brow lamination. So I had been trying to brush and set my brows up like this, but it wouldn't stay and it's because it's not being permed to stay that way. Set my brows. And then I also have this gimme brow. <sighs> I guess I could use this opportunity to talk about my mental health. What I think I'm going through, if I'm going through anything at all. Oh, I didn't blend this. It's just like whoop, a line. Because I'm just, I'm kind of like, what if I'm making up things in my head? What if I'm just being a baby and I just need to suck it up? I think that I've come to, or I've had thoughts that um, my mind is not in the best place and it's kind of using my body to try and say something. I think my mind not necessarily is using it, my body as a punching bag, but is trying to say that it needs help in a way that I have coped or um, dealt with it is to handle it yeah I don't think I'm ready to talk about that but what I am ready is to prime my eyes with this urban decay primer oh god that I think is expired oh my god it's like leaking water I wonder if it's gonna oops I could be Dude, this is like the most makeup I've ever put on, on camera. Actually, probably just in my whole life. Just me. I should probably wash my hands. Well, whatever, fuck it. Blended in the highlighter. I could probably do the blush now. It smells nice. Maybe I should put concealer around here. Yeah, that's a good idea. Ugh. All right, recovering from that very serious topic. I can't recover. <laughs> I'm putting it over my highlighter. Cool, and my blush, actually, <laughs> now that I think about it. I kinda just wanna use this tongue. Man, this is a shit show. All right, what am I doing with this? I guess we can't stop here. Actually, we could cut our losses. We could, I could pretend I could Actually, redo this video as like I went to the worst makeup artist and it was me.
Why do people use like these base colors? Probably should have highlighted my brow bone first. Maybe I'll do that now. I don't want to talk about my feelings. I have no feelings. Uh, maybe I'm just saying that because I just feel like I have too many feelings. Right? This looks a lot better than the eye with just the primer. That was a little scary. I remember when the red eye was coming in and I was like, oh wow, this does not look good. I did not like it. And now I'm kind of just like, I can't believe I ever thought that. I guess that's what fads will do to you. So many people are doing it and they're making it look good and you just have to succumb to blend it out more. I don't want it to just, just be like a, a red side. Eyeshadow in my eye. I'm gonna do the contour, but I also kind of want to line my eyes with something dark. I have these neighbors, and I'm just like, what the hell are they doing up there? But I don't have enough courage to actually go and talk to them. Like right now, it seems like they're playing basketball up there. I know that they've been bouncing balls. Didn't know I was gonna do a wing, but. I don't really know what I'm doing. Over. Uh, I'll curl my eyelashes now. Anyway, so other than the non feelings that I have, nothing much is going on. I'm I'm really like looking to heal and get a job which is difficult i think in this corona time but it's okay i'm very very proud that i had a job interview this week i appreciate the organization that gave me the opportunity and hopefully this is the beginning and i'm also gonna try to see if i can like get some benefits from this corona thing because you know My wings never come out the same. Mm. Mm. Kind of like lying all over the place. I realized that I could be putting on bronzer now. How do people put on bronzer without, I guess they're so experienced in putting in bronzer they don't need to suck in their cheeks. Cause I was watching, I guess Nikita Dragon or her recent videos. And then when I saw her do her earlier videos, I was just like, your style has kind of changed in terms of like how to put on makeup. Maybe too much. <laughs> Dude, this is crazy. Not bad, I think. I guess now the fun part, putting on these individual lashes that are meant for the end of the eye, but kind of use it. So it's like this. I feel like I waste it when I put it out, but I mean, I have so much product left anyways. Maybe I should, it seems more hygienic that way. Oh, too much. Ah. Also, I have these two candles that I've been lighting up. One is the cleansing candle. And then the other is this Scorpio candle. I'm not a Scorpio, but uh, someone I know is. And I got it from Lorea's Bodega, which is a store kind of like two blocks down. And I love it because it's black and different. Oh, fuck. We had a little mishap there. Oh my God. Anyways, um, yeah, Lorea's Bodega. Great shop. All right, let's put on some lashes. And what I'm planning on doing after this video is to it work out a little bit. That lash did not go on as I had hoped. I think it's like harder because I curled my eyelashes. Can you even tell on camera? Can I even tell without? Is it even on my freaking eye? It's on my lash. Oh God. Lost cause, this one. Okay, maybe I will do my other side. Is it gonna be hard editing this? Ugh. I don't think you can actually tell. 
So the funny thing is that I feel like this is not my, this is, this is my best eye, but I always end up messing up stuff on this eye. And because this is not my best eye, I think I take a lot more time to do this eye. And yeah, it just turns out better. <sighs> do I look tired? I feel tired. I'm ready to put the towel in. Okay, one more and then I'm gonna call it quits. I'm done. <sighs> At least for the makeup, I realize that I still need to do my hair. Then I'm gonna go work out and then I'm gonna take a shower. Yep, this eye always turns out great. And this eye does something else. So the thing about having short haircuts is I feel like it's so much harder to be feminine. And when I have longer hair, when I look more feminine, I don't wanna look feminine, but when I look when I look more masculine, I want to be more feminine. Do I have identity issues? Maybe. This is hair stuff that I've had for a while, actually, because when I first met my partner, I was telling him that I was gonna cut my hair short, so. He got this for me as like, I guess a way of like showing that he supported me getting my haircut but it didn't happen until like three years later so here we are damn that wrap really messed up my hair this is yet another similar makeup look i've used a little bit more of the products i don't think i'm ever gonna freaking finish <laughs> It's gonna be a long time. I need to wear this makeup every single day. I'm so proud of the fact that I use more makeup products, but maybe it's also a sunk cost and I just need to let it go. Oh, dude, I totally forgot about the lips. I remember when this first came out when I was a teenager and I just thought it was like the coolest product ever. Dude, the, the things that I thought when I was a teen, oh my God. Also, this product tastes like shit. So it's probably not meant for the lips as much as it is for the face, but whatever. Oh, this cowlick. Oh, and then this, like, what do we do with this? It wants to be on the other side today. And I can understand that because that's what I'm like. Oh God, this also wants to be on the other side. It doesn't want to choose a side. I feel like I need to put more hair product to make this not clean my hands and then I just dip my makeup hands into the there we go show some more of that <laughs> oh the back hair she's like I don't know where to go you usually let me do whatever I want before this hairstyle messes up I'm just gonna end the video somewhere around here I really need to end this video